Welcome in this next video about algebraic powers. In this video we're going to give you an overview of all the operations that are possible up to now that you've seen about how to calculate with algebraic powers. Now when dealing with simplifying powers there's a regularity at play and in this video we're going to give you an overview and hopefully to clarify what to do in which situation. Now when looking at the powers that are possible we can have a few different options. We can have first of all the raising a power to a power. So raising a power to a power. And for example a to the power 3 and then again the fifth power of that. That's an example of it. The second option is multiplying and divide. Now multiplying for example a to the power 3 times a to the power 5. Or divide a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3. The third option is addition and subtraction. For example, 4a to the power 5 plus 3a to the power 5 or 4a to the power 5 minus 3a to the power 5. And then the last one is that you can't do anything, for example, when the bases are not like and you cannot add up or you cannot multiply. Now you see in this steps there's a, the order of operation. Raising to a power, multiplying and division, addition and subtraction and afterwards you got nothing. Now the same order we can have with the indices, looking at the indices of the power because that's all every time we do something with that. So first of all raising to a power of the indices, we're not going to use that, that's why it's put in grey. Then afterwards we have multiply and divide, again dividing of indices, we haven't done that yet so we don't encounter it yet, only multiplying. And then afterwards we have addition and subtraction of indices. Now we've seen that. And we've also seen situations where you don't do anything with the indices. Now how do these two relate to each other? You see that both have the order of operations. The order of operation raised to a power, multiplying and divide, addition and subtraction and then nothing else. No operation that can be done. Now what's the relation between those two? Now if you raise to a power you actually go one step lower in the order of the indices. So raising to a power of a power actually you have to do then multiply the indices. So in this case you multiply the 3 and the 5 which gives you a to the power 15. Now in the same way in the second group you got multiply and divide of a power. So you multiply two powers or you divide two powers. What happens with the indices in this case? Looking at the first example, then a to the power 3 times a to the power 5, then you have to add the indices. So again you go one step lower in the order of operation looking at the indices, which gives you a to the power 8. And you can do the same thing for dividing, a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3. Then you subtract the indices, again you go one step lower in the order of operations, which gives you a to the power 2. Then the last group, addition and subtraction of powers. Now the first one, 4a to the power 5 plus 3a to the power 5. If you add these up, you see that there's no operation of the indices. So actually the indices remain the same. Very important, they have to be the same up front as well. Before if you start, it has to be both a to the power 5, or both a to the power 7, or both b to the power 2. Indices have to be the same as well as the base of course. So in this case they're both a to the power 5, we can add them up but we, they stay the same so only add up the 4 and the 3 which gives you 7 a to the power 5. Now again the same thing with subtraction. If you do subtraction of 4 a to the power 5 minus 3 a to the power 5 you subtract only the numbers because the indices there's no operation on it, they stay the same have to be the same, the base have to be the same, when subtracting them it stays the same. In this case leaving you a to the power 5 or 1 a to the power 5 leaving out the 1 of course. Now this is an overview, hopefully this puts a little bit more into place everything that you've done in the, in the previous videos and good luck with the practice exercises where we mix a lot of this stuff all together to see if you're able to understand the differences. Good luck in the next video.